Hi there, my name is Matthias Klaasner from the GLR in Rotterdam. This 20th demo session on Vimeo is about making uh, nice fonts available in Adobe Edge Animate. Um, you can use basic font types, um, but as a designer you probably want to use uh, all kinds of different types of, of fonts which are available via typekit.com. Um, and we're going to show you how this connection works between typekit.com and Adobe Edge Animate. So have fun. So yeah, I'm gonna make a banner inside of Edge Animate and I already started with making the banner. Um, I already inserted the image on my stage and I want to add another image, our logo. So I'm going to go to File and Import and I want to import my EPS file of our logo. But unfortunately, Edge Animate doesn't import EPS files. Uh, but I still want to have my vector image so I could choose the SVG file. So if I save my file in Adobe Illustrator to an SVG file, a scalable vector graphic, it will work. So I'm going to pop to pop over to Adobe Illustrator. I'm going to save it as the SVG file, the scalable vector graphic. And there you go. Okay. And back to Edge Animate again. There's my logo, the SVG file. Open it and it's on my stage. I can easily scale it down a bit. Move it over to well, approximately here. And because of the white background of my logo, I want to add a nice shadow over here in the properties. I'm gonna press this little button, shadow on. And I can adjust the shadow a bit in whatever way I'd like and now the logo is on top and pops out a bit. This demo is about text as well so I want to add text to this animation on top of my little bar over here. So a white rectangle there you go and this is going to display my text uh, to go to our website and people need to click on top of this, uh, this bar. Um, here's the text tool. I'm gonna click and write down my uh, little text and uh, check out the, uh, our cool website on www.glr.nl. And that's our text which comes inside of the little or inside on top of the little bar. And people need to click on this little rectangle or on this text, whatever I'm going to do. I'm going to center my text. And there you go. A um, little bit of animation. I've already done this in a, another tutorial a uh, little bit. So if you want to know more about animation, please check the other videos about Edge Animate in my channel. Um, cool thing is the toggle pin. Because I've uh, designed my banner right now, this is the end position of my banner. Um, and with the little toggle pin, I can do it in, th in this way. To, so make my final design and then add on the add in the animation uh, things. So I want to take this. To, I want to last this animation for about one half a second maybe, and let this image slide in from the. Uh, right hand side of my image to the left hand side and um, because I've, I'm using the toggle pin and I've moved the toggle to the right hand side and uh, there's a blue line right now I can um, set my uh, internal state um, I can set my uh, begin position of this image at frame 0 on the right hand side of my uh, animation and there you go it moves in brilliantly I can even add some ease in and ease out options to this little tween over here um, ease in uh, ease out a quint and it slides in And it slides in really smoothly, but I'm 
deciding it may take a little longer okay there you go and I also want um, all these two items to uh, pop on pop on top of the banner um, so I'm gonna use it pin tool again also one second I'm gonna drag it off my stage and everything that's off my stage isn't visible um, when my overflow is on hidden so everything off uh, on the uh, outside of my canvas will not be shown inside of my browser there you go and uh, these two animations could use an ease in uh, uh, as well uh, maybe uh, like this and they may start a little bit later finally our logo will uh, fall down from the sky um, so I'm gonna drag it up and use the bounce ease option for this one This is our little banner. The thing is, the uh, the typography I've used is not that awesome, cause standard it uses the basic font types, the web safe fonts, uh, which is a really short list. And you, as a designer, want to choose the the font you'd like and not which you have to use. So um, luckily, uh, there are. Typekit uh, fonts available within Adobe Edge Animate and Typekit is really awesome. I hope you're sitting down because this is cool. Um, basically it needs two types of, of code um, which you can get from your Typekit account. So I'm gonna go over to Safari and this is typekit.com uh, by Adobe and basically if you'd like to uh, try it out you can uh, use two fonts on one website um, for free so you can check out typekit and how it works and all you need is your uh, free adobe id um, but it also comes with your creative cloud account and then you can use more fonts uh, which you'd like so i'm gonna sign in and uh, browse through the fonts and it, there, there are hundreds of fonts inside which you can use and they are ordered by classification, uh, recommendation, uh, the properties, the white, the width. Uh, you can search the, the font by name if you know the name of the font. So it's really easy to, to find a font which you'd like and, and use. Uh, once you got a font, you can move it inside of your kit. And when it's inside the kit, you can use it in Adobe Edge Animate. So I'm gonna launch my kit editor because I already made some uh, some fonts inside of my kit. Um, it works online if you use your kit settings and uh, write down your, your URL um, or your, do your domain but if you want to run it locally you need to uh, copy and paste this little number and it will uh, work like a local host and it will pop up inside Edge Animate as well. Um, so I've already done that. It wants two things, the font fallback list and the embed code. The font fallback list you will find in the using fonts in CSS. I'm going to click the link and this is my little font fallback list. I'm going to copy the code and paste it inside over here and now it wants me to use the embed code or to paste the embed code. I'm going over to the embed code in my uh, type kit. I'm going to copy the text and paste it, add the font 
and it changes directly into my uh, typekit font and when I'm gonna pre uh, preview it in my browser it's gonna show my font inside of the browser and even our user, our viewer of the website will see this font like you as a designer has meant it to be. So that's really awesome. Typekit, check it out, it's cool. Last thing I want to do to this little uh, banner is make it clickable. Um, so I need to add some action to this little text field, text line. Um, right click, open the action, action for uh, text 6, in this case. And I'm a worthless uh, coder, so I'm really happy uh, with this mouse and with this, this code snippets over here. Uh, basically, what I want is when my user uh, lets go of the mouse button, the mouse goes up. I want it to do something, and in this case, I want to open the URL. And of course, it wants you to go to adobe.com, but in this case, I want to go to glr.nl. When it displays uh, self, it's going to open it inside the same window. Um, if I change it to blank, um, it's going to open in a new tab or a new window. And that's all you need to do. I'm going to preview it in the browser again. And there's my little animation. And I can click on, side of the, on top of the text and it opens our website. Um, but the user interaction is not that great yet because I expect uh, 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 another cursor uh, to show uh, the user that it's a button. Um, so I need to make a little a little finger icon uh, for my cursor, and that's really tough to do. So don't blink, please, and pay attention, because I'm going over to the cursor, changes from auto to the pointer, and that's all you need to do. <laughs> so. Command enter or control enter to test it in the browser again. There's my banner, little finger pointer, and I'm going to my website. If you're interested in our school, check out the Adobe uh, International website over here about GLR um, for more information about our, uh, our school as well. Really cool. Well, thank you for watching this 20th demo session. Hope to see you next time with the 21st one.